man on the motorcycle is Wes Cooley, two-time champion of superbike competition and one of the finest riders ever to have straddled a high-powered two-wheeled racing machine. 2018 for us, it's a historic celebration really for uh, Suzuki and Yoshimura. And we've, uh, the partnership there has been alive and, and strong for 40 years. I think about Suzuki or I think about Yoshimura, I always think about them both together. To think about 40 years, all the riders that have come through that stable, it's pretty incredible, man. The partnership between Yoshimura and Suzuki is, really defines the rest of the industry. You know, that's the way to put together uh, a relationship, to have one that, that survives, one that seems to be mutually beneficial. Not only 40 years ago when they started, but you know, last year when they won our championship. So clearly they haven't rested on their laurels and, and uh, what, they've, what they've built is really uh, the standard by which others should be judged. I mean, when you think of Yoshimura and Suzuki, you think of racing and you think of super bikes. I think that's what makes them special and what kind of separates them from the rest is because they have such a long history of doing this and not only doing it, but doing it very well. Wes Cooley, Kevin Swans, Matt Mladi, Aaron Yats, Ben Spies, all these guys, I, I would like to be part of this legacy in near future. So we are talking about big things. Uh, always I want to be humble with my feet on the ground, but I would like to, to be part of that legacy of course. Starting in 1978 with the GS750, Hop Yoshimura and his son Fujio and, and the crew actually built a, a one of the very, very first super bikes. I think really honestly, super bike was, was started back in those days where you would just basically modify a production motorcycle that was uh, built to be a track-worthy motorcycle, right? You take headlights off, you don't do nearly the things we do today. The motorcycles now are designed to go around racetracks, where back then they were designed to go from stop sign to stop sign or signal to signal. It's a neat evolution that we've been part of. Racing's racing, and our guys have done, done us an excellent job, both Roger and Tony, uh, over 2017, and they're not stopping. I don't see them stopping, so we'll see how 2018 goes. We've got testing has gone well, and we've got some development that we've done to the, to the bike, so they definitely have the fire in their belly to keep the number one two spot. I led a lot of races to like the last three or four laps and uh, try to figure out a way. I've been thinking a lot how to finish those last, those last couple laps off where I felt like I gave up a lot of, a lot of wins last year and even the year before that. You know, I have to uh, throw a little more caution to the wind, I guess you could say, the last couple laps and force the issue a little more and, uh, you know, win more races. I think that people like to say, oh, now you have the number one and you have a lot of pressure. No, <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just amazing. Use the number one is incredible, but doesn't mean anything. It's a new start. We have to fight again, play again. For me, the pressure is being at home without job. I'm happy to be here for fight again. Uh, I will give more than my 100%. Will be difficult for us, but will be difficult for everybody, for sure. Definitely for me, I want to be part of that legacy, probably, probably more than Tony, because, you know, I grew up coming to the races and watching my brothers before I even started. And Yoshimura was like a powerhouse team then. You know, when I was an amateur, you always like, dream of riding for Yoshimura and, and Suzuki and then too and now to be a part of that you know be a part of the 40th year is you know something special and uh, hopefully we can make the 40th year one of the best. Mm -hmm.